Hey folks, here to talk about something that recently snagged my interest and ire. Um, it's not technically about Amanda Todd. This is more the catalyst, namely a channel that will go the official clown unnamed has been uploading beautiful videos about the dilemma. Uh, these videos are poignant, heartwarming, and tear-jerking. These videos also don't actually belong to the channel owner. Actually, the channel owner is apparently a dubstep channel, rendering this content entirely out of left field and, of course, stolen. I'm not even talking about obscure videos here. Uh, these have been taken from some extremely popular channels. Uh, there are credits to the original owners, kinda, in the video descriptions. Uh, the video taken from Mr. Repsian mentions him by name, uh, but there's no link to his channel, though there is a link to his original video. It should be noted that there's only one link to Repsian's work, and four links to this other guy's channel's Facebook page. Uh, Repsian's link, or even mention, is below two of the guy's Facebook links, apparently rendering them less important than his dubstep Facebook channel page. So, let me deal with this categorically, and as usual, I will speak as if I am talking directly to the person himself. Okay, your various descriptions claim you're doing this because you want to spread the message. Uh, that you think ev everybody else should see these videos. Sorry, but I don't believe that. Uh, more people see these videos than they do yours. I've looked at the original view counts for these other credited tales, and they're higher than yours. Now, if you were talking about smaller channels, while asking permission, of course, because it should be mentioned that he sure as hell didn't ask Repsian for permission, um, featured them with advertisement for said channel with the same prominence, if not more so, than you're enthusiastically selling your completely unrelated material, well, then I could get on board with that. It'd get a message to a wider audience, uh, get some cross-promotion going, but this isn't the case. You don't have a wider audience. What you have are videos uh, that are doing more popular than much of your usual fare with material that you didn't lift a finger to create, and, let's face it, they're popular because of the material you didn't lift a finger to create. I mean, what, you think that the only way to get these messages across is to put the full videos of other people on your channel? Well, it's not. I mean, about a month ago, I decided to do a video on Todd Aiken. It's nothing impressive for the record, it's not insightful or, well, even particularly serious, it had actually mostly been mocking the fact that a high-level politician's channel had such a low sub-count, and that a channel representing a figure of a democratic country had turned off the comments section. But the reason for not dealing with it seriously was that I had gotten the topic idea from watching one of Mr. Repsian's videos. By which I mean, before you cry foul, his videos were the first thing I heard about the entire incident. And I thought, hey, stupid politician, commentating gold! Anyway, I could have just gone over his points verbatim, a tossed in a wry joke here and there, and watched the views pour in. But really, if it's been said by a guy with a far more substantial audience, why repeat everything if I don't have anything that meaningful to add? So I ended up just saying in the video, so guys, uh, not going to really get verba verbally smitey or tear the politician a new one, because Mr. Repsian's done a great job of that, look at his videos, links in the description. That was it, and the rest of the video was me shamelessly making fun of an American politician, like a true Canadian. Or hey, you know what? Make it part of your playlist. I have a friend uh, who has a lupus awareness raising video, and I put that video on my main playlist, uh, so it would show on my front page and maybe draw on some more views. I didn't have to upload it, and any views that that video got uh, would be credited entirely to her account, not mine. I mean, that's the rub. I doubt any of these people who own the original content would have a problem having their vid just on a playlist. Because, hey, we YouTubers do that all the time. It's uploading it to your own account that crosses a big old line. A big old neon line. On fire. And what about the box that you put over Repsian's uploaded video? Your only creative input, I might add. You know, this beyond all else pissed me right the fuck off. Because it says, For your support, would you please go like my Facebook page? 
You won't regret it, and it'll support Amanda Todd. What? How is it? There's a Facebook page for Amanda Todd. If you want to support Amanda Todd, go like the page supporting Amanda Todd. I went to this guy's Facebook page. I didn't see any mention of, of Amanda Todd. At all. I certainly didn't see anything promising, I don't know, a five cent donation for, to an anti-bullying charity for every like, or anything that would actually support Amanda Todd, or any bullying victims. All I saw was more advertising of his own channel. So if you are going to put advertising your Facebook page on such a high priority in these Amanda Todd videos, you had better at least put the subject that got you these views on the same priority. But yeah, you know what? Ignoring basic etiquette, there's another really good reason that you shouldn't have done this. Namely, it's not going to work. You'll get views, yeah, a shitload of views, uh, but there won't be any money because well, obviously you can't monetize this, so no short-term gain. And the long-term gain will be, well, long-term loss. Because even if you get a few subscribers now, well, sooner or later, in this case much sooner, uh, the taint of having outright ripped someone else's video off is going to catch up to you. When that happens, your channel's going to become a complete social networking pariah. And no matter how quickly you take these videos down, or how much you apologize, there's thousands of Repsian fans who probably aren't going to let you live it down. You know, even if you hadn't ripped off that one video, uh, the fact that you've uploaded four Amanda Todd videos on the same day, mind you, none of which uh, you yourself made, it just screams, I'm looking for views. And before anyone points out that, yes, I made an Amanda Todd video myself, well, for one thing, I didn't monetize it, even though there was no reason I couldn't, other than my overactive sense of guilt, and I didn't insert my mournful, furious ramblings with insistences that you all subscribe to me. Hell, I didn't post the video on the forums, on, on Reddit, or any other spots that I normally would. All I did was make one video response to one of the big response spam channels. That was it. And that's just because I usually get almost no views otherwise. It went up for one day on my front page. Now it's tucked away in my Arterot's Confession playlist. The video is the least advertised one on my entire channel and I sure as hell would not accompany the kind of news I was discussing with, yeah, guys, this fucking disgusts me. Also, remember to like, subscribe, and buy a t-shirt. No, I saved the sub-begging for my regular series. Thank you very much. Oh, and of course, my channel is about talking about stuff, right? Bit less of a tonal shift than yours. Look, there is a small chance that this is an honest mistake. Maybe, I guess. Look, if that's the case... I am coming off really harsh, but, man, this was just such a misstep. I mean, you look like you're fishing for views and subs, and not using this subject to do so, which one could admittedly accuse anyone who discusses it here of doing, but using other people's content to do it instead? That's just unforgivable. I have no intention of subscribing to your channel or of suggesting anyone subscribe to it, or even watching it, because I'm just disgusted. And you know what, an advertising plan that elicits that reaction, it's not always the best way to go.